What's going on, guys? It's your boy Ooze back again, once again, as always, and here to give you guys more of my opinion on the matter at hand today. So, if y'all have been under a rock, well, time to get n not next to Patrick, but <laughs> I don't know, that was a terrible joke. But the news has been out. Dragon Ball Super is officially, well, low key, got officially uh, confirmed to be, you know, coming out with more episodes, or Toei Animation, I have to say, um, soft confirmed that they would be coming out with, um, new episodes, um, sometime this year, they didn't give a date or anything like that, however, we're just gonna reference this article really quick, uh, I'm not gonna go into it too much, because, you know, the, the news out there is, is pretty dry, um, as, all, all we do know is that this Nat P spotlight, um, this is basically a convention for, um, I guess like companies to intermingle with one another so that they could sell sell their stuff to each other, like their properties, their um, you know, like special rights, all that kind of stuff. I don't know like all the specifics, but you know, you guys can you know, I I'm not here to talk about that. I'm pretty much here to talk about that. Toy was there and you know, they they were talking about, you know, um Saint Seiya, they were talking about One Piece, you know, down here. And right in the middle, this middle article or this middle paragraph is to say Right here, the the company also has it in its catalog Dragon Ball Super Japanese fan blah blah blah. Okay, we all know that this is pretty much like the the general summary of the Battle of Gods, a uh, God of Destruction arc, or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, confirming that Dragon Ball Super that Toei Animation is coming out new new um, new episodes. So I think that's really cool that it kind of got leaked or not really leaked. I shouldn't say leaked at all, but they revealed it. Um, now, of course, this is worldscreen.com, so shout out to worldscreen.com for giving us this information. However, I do want to talk about how it's kind of weird that Toei is trying to deny it, and I don't know why, because, you know, they can practically give all the news and information, low-key spoilers, on everything that's happened in Dragon Ball Super Broly, However, any mention of the anime itself returning, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, of course not, no, nah, they're not, no. Nah. So, who knows, maybe they're trying to keep it hush-hush because they have a plan as far as announcing it officially, revealing it officially, you know, in the coming days, I would say, you know, and I say that because, you know, on the horizon, we do have the Dragon Ball Fighters finals occurring this weekend. So who knows, maybe they're going to save it for an event like that. I kind of doubt it though because if anything, I would imagine we'd get we'd be getting more Dragon Ball Fighters news considering that it is a Dragon Ball Fighters tournament. So that would make sense, you know, give us, you know, some kind of trailer or some kind of insight for the new characters. <coughs> Jiren, <coughs> Ill Transcendent Goku. <coughs> oh, ooh, I got something in my throat. But anyway, you know, like stuff like that, you know. We're looking forward to seeing what new things, new balance adjustments, you know, whatever whatever is new for fighters to be had, you know, on, on during that time. I don't imagine that they would, you know, even mention the anime. I mean, that would kind of, that would be that would I, you know, I could imagine that would also be a good time to do it because I can also assume that the stream the stream numbers are going to be pretty high um because everyone's going to be watching, you know, to see the best of the best, you know, duke it out to see who is truly the the best fighter in Dragon Ball Fighters. Um and then of course, excuse me, looking forward to, you know, the season 2 announcements and anything else that they have to reveal for us. Um with all that being said, I mean, it does make sense for them to do it there. I don't think they're going to do it there, but again, a lot of eyes will be on that event, so there will be a good time to, you know, you know, reveal it. Then Quite possibly, they could do it a week from now. They could do it next month. Realistically, they don't. It, it is unknown when they will come out and say, "Okay, guys, it's official. Dragon Ball Super, the anime, is returning at some point this time." Whether 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 it be in July, whether it be later in the fall, whether it be even in as soon as April, highly doubt that. But it has already been confirmed from many sources, many people, Geekdom included. He's talked about this in his videos plenty of times, that they've been in the pre-production phases as of October, a.k.a. a month before the, the Japanese premiere of Broly, a.k.a. two months before the official release of Broly in Japan and the first L.A. screening preview 
Um, and, you know, three months before it officially came out over here in the North American region. So I don't know if that has, really has anything to do with it. But again, they have been working on it pre-production phases. And they, they, you know, I don't know how far along they have been, you know, since then. But, you know, that, you know, it obviously is enough for, you know, this conversation to even exist. What do you guys think? Because honestly, it's like it could be they could they could literally like the reason I, I don't see why they would be so quiet about it, especially when the Internet kind of low key blew up, you know, when, you know, movie world, I'm sorry, worldscreen.com like officially revealed it and it spread like a wildfire. Like everyone was talking about it. Like, OK, OK, OK. Like, you know, Super's coming back. Super's coming back. I don't know why anyone would doubt that. But, it, you know. With the success of Broly, there's no way they're not gonna, you know, re- have the anime return. And I'm hoping that they do start the anime off with with a, with the Broly arc because again, I cannot stress this enough. Three hour script Toriyama wrote. I need to see the all the stuff that they cut out. I need to see in the anime. That is exactly the reason why I have this graphic in front of you guys to look at because this is the 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 manga visual that Toyotaro did. That was also included in uh, the chapter that came. I, I was like, what, 42, I think? It was like it included in the manga. This, this this specific graphic that you're seeing in front of you right here was actually in the manga. That was it. You know, so they didn't even do Broly in the manga. They skipped over Broly. They mentioned it, they, but they skipped over it so that they could get, you know, ahead and, you know, be into the Galactic Patrol prison arc. So, you know, I'm hoping that, you know, as far as this video goes, I'm hoping that Toei just comes out and just, okay. And I hope that, you know, the reason why they haven't said anything is because they are, they already have plans on officially announcing it themselves very soon in the coming days, like I said earlier in the video. And it could be as soon as the Dragon Ball Fighters finals, okay? So, guys, if you are watching this and you weren't originally planning on watching the finals of Fighters, I highly advise you to pay attention to it because not only is it going to be... Some hype, some hype, hype um, fighters gameplay from the top players around the world. But again, they're also going to be revealing what they're going to do with season two. They've already confirmed Jiren, and if they're going to, you know, follow their pattern like they did last year and re- and and release characters in packs of two, then we can automatically assume that Ultra Instinct Goku will be joining the the game alongside Jiren. So that all being said, guys. Please, let me know what y'all thought about it in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Y'all know the drill. The description has all the links so that you can go ahead and support your boy in all the different ways. Take care of yourselves. Have a great one. May the power protect y'all. And I'll see y'all next time.